All right. Now, we're going to continue with our figure here. Now, <clears throat> we're getting this figure done. Now, as we bring the legs down, we want then to definitely start thinking about our shoes right here. Or actually, it, uh, <clears throat> it's going to be a little boot. So, it's going to come somewhere up above in here. I'm going to bring it down a little bit more. But, uh... It will be a boot that we have. So I'm going to bring this down some more. <clears throat> okay. And a little bit more in here. Take a little bit more in there. And some off in here. Okay. Now I think it's time to sort of... <clears throat> the boot's going to just come up above right in here. Okay. So I'm just going to draw a line around that thing. That's where the boot's going to be. And the same thing here, we just draw a line around it. We go all the way around the boot, even in here. <clears throat> and what we want to do is we want to go ahead and start shaping the boot. And we're just going to cut right here. And then we're going to come from the inside of here because the boot will uh, will be a little bit, of course, a little bit bigger than the actual piece. So we want to cut a little bit in here. And we want to start shaping our boot. Now, of course, if we look at the boot, it's way too... Um, way too uh, thick so we want to shape it <clears throat> as we begin to shape it to make it work Now, see how much more now it's beginning to take shape. And, of course, this will be thinner than here. here do this see see what we're doing we're shaping that boot in there here and cut across here I'm trying to show you as much as possible sometimes it's not always an easy factor to show you everything a lot of people say well I need to see every cut well it's just not always feasible for that uh, I don't have the 
of making everything just right. Now, we're going to do the same thing to this one over here. Now, as you can see, this boot has to come down a whole lot more. So I'm going to go ahead and take it off right in here. Okay. And I'm going to take a little bit off in here. And definitely this has to come down. This is way, way too thick. And taking it down. There we go. Now we're, we're starting to look like. And coming in here. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, come here and cut our little indention where the boot comes over the legging. And that boot has to come down even some more. It's still too thick. But that's okay. It's no problem. Especially this here. This has got to come down. It's too thick. because we have to he's going to be walking like this okay so we don't want to cut too much off the heel you know but we want to have enough off where it looks sort of like he's he's moving and boots are different they're thick uh, boots are some boots are thicker than other of course but most boots are pretty thick especially hunting boots We're okay, there we go. Now we want to go ahead and come across here and take some away here and do the same back here and do it in the front. And of course, we want to bring the leggings down, uh, you know, thinner than the boots itself. So now we're beginning to see it. I mean, we're, we're beginning to see the, the situation here. Okay, there we are. Look at that, see? Now, we're just gonna kinda shape the boots a little bit, but we've got them down and that's what we wanna do in this situation. Now what we wanna do is go to the body. Now once again, all this in here, I'm gonna just leave the way it is I've got to bring this down a little bit but where the arm would be so I'm gonna start bringing this down just a little bit On my body because there's a belt that goes around him leaving this area right here. Now see what we can do is when we put the arms on there, then I can actually carve a lot of this stuff off, in other words. And then we're gonna bring this, this chest and all this stuff forward, okay? Because this is a coat. Okay, just like that, see? See how the Okay, just like that. But we want to leave that area right in here. And I don't, I'm going to 
say that enough. And we're just kind of... Now, one of the things I want to do is go ahead and bring this head down. Okay, so that we can kind of line it up with the body in such a way. Okay, so let me go ahead and start taking some away from this head. Using the push cut this way, keeping it away from my hands as much as possible. Using the push cut. See how I, I move the, the, for you newer carvers, see how I move the carving around so that I can get to it, in other words, and get to the different positions and things like that? Do that. Don't try, if you have to turn your carving over to, to do something, do it. Don't, don't try to, to uh, learn, your, learn, your three, your, learn your cuts the way you're doing them because it's very important also as you do this that you don't, uh, you know, mess your... Uh, cut yourself just because you don't want to um, turn your see like right here I could try to do it like this but I turn the carving over and look see safety is a big factor in anything that we do but uh, you know you just have to um, you just have to get used to the knife get used to the knife Get used to how it does. And remember, our face is like an egg, so you can see that I'm coming down, cutting this, because our face will determine a lot how big we want the body and stuff. And also, I need a shoulder over here, which I can do it with when I put the arms on there. For the gun, the gun's gonna sit up on his shoulder. So, uh, as we saw in the picture. Okay, now we're getting that head down, okay? All right. And then that, that means also I can bring this area down here see a little bit now there's going to be a collar there but we want to bring that down where the we have plenty of room underneath the head right there like that there we go see and then we can kind of bring this chest down just a little bit. And we can bring this down even some more. Make him a little bit thinner. Okay. We have to definitely mess with things, okay? All right, look at that, see? Now, and we'll be bringing this down in here and sort of, see, bring that up and, and all that, in other words. There's a lot of removal, wood removal, in, in this character, but it's no more than anything else, in other words. As we go, mm -hmm. okay, let's go ahead and continue. Now, as you can see also that once we get the face done, then we can also bring down the, uh, we can bring down the uh, hat also. Now we're beginning to see 
a little bit of a movement there. Okay. All right. As you know, when I do a face, I start kind of making, you know, getting ready for my nose, which is my center point. And I'm going to go ahead and put my nose about right here. Okay? Put my nose about right there. And I'm going to cut. Alright, see that? Okay. And then I cut up here. And then I cut down on my nose, but I make my nose a lot bigger than what it should be. And cut cut down there with all that. Alright. And then I start bringing that nose down. Okay. There we go. And I start thinning it up. So that leaves the hat now uh, to where I can also bring that down as well. Because um, I'm like up underneath here has to have uh, some. some parts up in here but remember he's a hunter he's a goose hunter so he's out in the cold so um, he's gonna have some thick clothes clothing on so the coats are gonna be a little bit thick and stuff like that Look at that. See from the side? Okay. I'm just going to go back up to here. And we'll do a little bit more shaping on my body. A little bit more shaping. We're going to kind of cut this down a little bit. More shaping. Where it's all right, I'm gonna come in here. Just cut that. There we go. Cut that in there to make it look like that. And of course, like I said, I have to bring these boots down. I just, I'm just looking at the, the uh, not much, but a little bit. I'm looking at the figure itself, in other words, and uh, assessing what needs to come down. Because what, what I try to do is when I'm doing a figure, I try to bring the body, the head, and all that stuff to a, to a point where I can sort of give them, they don't, it's a caricature, so it doesn't have to be exactly the uh, shape that, you know, that I want. But it's it's also now the hat. See, it's of course it's way way too big. So we're going to bring that hat down, and then we're going to come in here, and we're going to kind of take away from this end here, okay? All right. back here how the hat will come around the and here also there we go 
go. And we're going to come back here on this hat. And we're going to sort of make it where it's Now, what we have some room for is, I'm not going to worry about any ears or anything like that. I'm just going to put him some hair right in there. Or actually, I can, I can actually draw a little thing here, a little flap with a hat because it's cold. And we can have a, a lot of these hats, they have these little flaps on the side, like this, that keeps your ears covered. So... We're just going to kind of do that. See? Just like that. Here, same way. So it's sort of a... And it, it will be colored the same color as the, the hat itself, in other words. It's just like a little flap... Uh, I used to hunt, and, and we had them. They they just they cover the ears, come down and cover the ears, and uh, so we're kind of shaping the hat a little bit. Okay, there we go. So that way we don't have to carve any ears on him. We have a little flap that comes down off of the uh, hat itself. All right, now let's go ahead Bring this nose down. Okay, see that? And let's just take a little bit off in here, because remember our 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 our. Uh